Hello everyone, today I'm giving sort of a presentation, if you will, uh, about holistic health. And this is gonna be from the perspective of my own health journey, uh, from some things that I've come across along the way. And I am in no way a perfect image of this message at all, but it's really important to share our experiences as we grow, uh, to learn from each other and inspire each other as well. And maybe this video, my experiences can inspire anyone potentially to make at least one simple change moving forward within their health, which is why you see the title of this uh, first slide here. And I'm gonna be obviously giving a presentation, reading a few things, so you may be seeing me look back and forth, but uh, you'll also be able to see these images on your screen as well. So. Moving forward, I um, want to touch just briefly on the healthy living community. Uh, we all have our own communities that resonate with us and help us, and I'm part of a few myself, and this one really focuses on health, healthy living as a whole. Uh, so you can get support from people and resources like free cookbooks, uh, kids programs for those of you who have, have kids or nieces or nephews, fitness guides, and a whole lot more. And whether you're just looking to be healthy and live long and, and, and well, or you have specific needs, there are people who are engaged in these communities um, that have all those things and everything in between. So um, also, if you're more of an academic type or maybe you're like me and you just like hearing the research uh, about whatever it is that you're you're trying or uh, looking into. There are a lot of online and in-person events that feature everything from everyday family members to the most well-known doctors uh, within their particular spaces and what their experiences are uh, for them to share to you as well. So please reach out to me if you're interested in kind of um, attending an event locally uh, that has those types of uh, speakers coming to you to learn more about holistic health. Uh, so moving forward, healthy living, right? What is it? It used to be very simple and uh, it wasn't the latest superfood or new diet craze that made something healthy. Uh, healthy was fresh, ve fresh vegetables from your grandmother's garden or uh, a farm that was no more than five miles away. Uh, healthy living was kids playing outside until it was dark and drinking water from a hose as opposed to plastic gases coming from hot water bottles at the end of the day. And, um, you know, again, at the end of the day, they were tired and we went to sleep. And we got lots of sleep and we played a lot and we got lots of sunlight. And today it looks extremely different, right? Family dinners are kind of replaced with fast food because of how much of a time constraint we have with all of our sports and extracurriculars and our parents have with their work. Uh, you know, neighborhood games until dark are replaced with games online and smartphone socializing. I'm not here to talk bad about smartphones and, and the internet and things like that, uh, but it's just a matter of fact. Um, you know, sodas and desserts used to be really birthday party foods that you would have once every other month at a friend's birthday and now they're more of like everyday expected treats. And then people turn to energy drinks because they don't have enough energy to get throughout their day. And so, me personally, I definitely remember TV dinners, uh, you know, with the little steak sausages, potatoes, and then like those three or four green beans they would put in there. I remember toaster strudels and Pop-Tarts in the morning, some sort of fried meat at lunch at the cafeteria at school, and then uh, chicken and potatoes for dinner. And I was fortunate enough to grow up with uh, a mom who eventually got to the point where she was becoming more and more aware of what healthy food actually is and what it looked like. And uh, because of her investment in that, obviously um, around my late teens is when I started to actually be able to uh, enjoy the benefits of, of healthy eating. So the question is, how are you taking care of yourself, right? I think we can all agree that health is made up of four or five core things. Uh, eating real foods, you know, 
plants and not food out of boxes or packages. Uh, processed foods is what they call them. Exercise, drinking water, drinking enough water, uh, getting enough sleep, and reducing stress. Right? All of these are core things that should be involved in a healthy lifestyle. And a good quote here from a well-known pediatrician, Dr. William Sears, um, pertaining to all of the lifestyle changes that you could make, one of the most proven to make the big, biggest impact on our health is to consume a diet rich in fruits and vegetables. And Dr. William Sears actually said and proved that 75% 75, 75 of all chronic diseases are preventable through good nutrition. All right, so it's super important. Um, and I think that moving forward, when we discuss what good nutrition looks like, it'll make a little bit more sense. And so um, despite that, there are two startling trends in our world. And well, actually there are way more than two startling trends. Have y'all seen these drag queen story time sessions with elementary kids? Pretty weird, but never mind. That's uh, beyond the point. A couple of startling trends within holistic health, as you can see here, are environmental toxins are increasing, right? Pollution is everywhere in your food, your water, your air. Um, even worse than that, it's our daily environments that do not promote healthy living. Sitting in a house or an office most of the day and most of the week uh, and not getting sunlight is damaging to our, our bodies and our DNA. Uh, not moving our whole bodies for most of the day and most of the week is crippling us, right? And not regulating our stress properly is killing us, literally. And of course, not fueling our bodies with enough clean food and water is only deteriorating us over time. And that's why we're, you know, not able to live long, healthy lives and feel good throughout the day, throughout the years as we continue to grow. And so um, that's the first startling trend. The second is one that is becoming more and more known, but still a surprise to some, food quality is decreasing, right? Um, these two trends, putting them together is really a perfect storm in our bodies. And so uh, we talk about processed food, right? Our food quality is decreasing with the many additives and preservatives that help the shelf life, right? But they don't help our bodies. They don't help the life in our bodies. They help stay on the shelf for much longer. You have things like preservatives, flavor enhancers, emulsifiers, synthetic vitamins, GMO. Uh, these foods are coming with less nutri nutrients. They're coming with pesticides, uh, terrible trans fats, artificial colors, growth hormones. The list goes on and on. And um, once you actually begin to kind of look at what these things actually do in our body, it's pretty startling, right? Our bodies do not recognize these extra things that are being put into our food. They don't recognize them, they don't know what to do with them. So in order, uh, so in response, they're fighting, fighting them and using a lot of uh, you know, good energy trying to fight these things and take them out of the body. And it's causing that stress in our body, oxidative stress. And uh, that's what I'm about to get into now with this next slide. Oxidative stress is uh, absolutely linked to poor health, right? A quote by Bruce Ames, a PhD at the National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences Center, says that in each cell, the DNA is hit about 10,000 times a day by mutagenic oxidants. And so with the increased environmental toxins, the decreased quality of, quality of food, it's causing oxidative stress in our bodies every day. And there's other causes as well, right? There's whether you're a smoker, you're, you're having lack of exercise, however many medications you're putting into your body, even pregnancy uh, can cause oxidative stress, which is why it's really important for um, soon to be and nursing mothers to, to get the proper nutrition. But this is super important because to understand oxidation is to understand aging and disease, right? Wrinkles are a direct example of oxidative stress happening in our skin cells. Um, so just imagine if that's oxidative stress in our skin cells, what does it look like inside our liver cells, right? Our heart cells, uh, our blood cells, whatever it may be. Um, another example of oxidative stress is when you look at an apple, cut it in half, 
and leave one side out and leave another kind of, uh, you know, storage tightly, airtight, what happens, right? The side of the apple that you left out, it turns brown. In other words, it ages, right? Um, whereas the other one looks a little bit more young, a little bit more fresh. And you can do this experiment at home too. You can squeeze lemon juice on one side of an apple, uh, which lemon juice, as we know, is an antioxidant. Antioxidants fight oxidative stress. Uh, and so whenever you put the lemon juice on one side of the apple and leave the other apple without lemon juice, you'll see how the side with the lemon juice slows the aging process. It looks fresh and young longer, whereas the other one turns brown and gets older quicker. Okay, and um, moving forward, we understand now more than ever through science that antioxidants, just like what's coming from the lemon juice, putting on the apple, um, is what is the best defense for our bodies in terms of oxidative stress. They shield and protect us. And where do we get antioxidants from? We're getting them from fruits and vegetables, right? They neutralize these harmful oxidative stress. So um, we know more and more about science of what it tells us today about food science and food health. Antioxidants coming from fruits and vegetables are the body's best defense against aging and disease. And you can see here from Time Magazine, right? This isn't just some underground science journals. This is mainstream. Back in 2003, the Time Magazine said that the news isn't that fruits and vegetables are good for you. It's that they're so good for you, they could save your life. And it's 100% true. Um, the government actually recommends us to eat a minimum of seven to 13 servings of fruits and vegetables every single day, uh, but almost no one does. I know I don't, uh, and certainly not the variety and the consistency that we really need. Remember guys, a serving of a fruit or vegetable is basically about the size of your fist, uh, you know, curled up. So imagine, are you eating seven to 13 servings of this, whether it's a fruit or a vegetable per day? Probably not. And if you are, awesome job. Um, but this is still for you, so keep listening. Uh, moving forward, we talk about how to kind of detoxify and protect ourselves with these antioxidants. And most people know that you're not eating enough fruits and vegetables every day. So what most of America does, over 70% of us, we turn to vitamin supplements. Well, let's talk about the difference between vitamins and whole food, right? Whole fruits and vegetables. A vitamin has anywhere from 35 to 50 isolated nutrients, whereas an apple actually comes with 10,000 nutrients in it. I mean, that's just an extraordinary difference. And each fruit or vegetable has about that many nutrients in it, and they work together to protect our bodies and the body knows exactly what to do with these fruits and vegetables when we put it in our body. So um, there's really no comparison when you get down to it. Vitamins barely scratch the surface as far as the potential or the effectiveness. And science, again, is telling us over and over to get the nutrients from whole food instead of from isolated nutrients. And also isolated, isolated nutrients do oftentimes way more harm than good. Because most of the vitamins, most of the vitamins that we're taking uh, and minerals that we're taking should come from plant sources and they're not. They're coming from a synthetic uh, source from a lab. And again, our body's not recognizing what to do with these things often. And it's doing more harm than good, trying to fight, trying to figure out how to utilize these different synthetic minerals. So kind of continuing the conversation about nutrients that we're finding in fruits and vegetables. What's kind of saddening, but at the same time amazing, is that some fruits and vegetables have lost anywhere from five to upwards of 40% of their nutrition value in the past 50 years. It's important to eat as many fruits and vegetables as you can daily, uh, of course, even beyond the uh, minimum recommendation. Um, and that's because of how much nutrients are being lost through the type of farming that we're doing, right? We're not, we're no longer doing farming that is for the surrounding communities um, and not mass produced in a way that's just cutting down the soil and, and, the, uh, and the roots 
Um, it's really not as nutritionally dense. And on top of that, it's important to know that your fruits and vegetables today are picked way too early. I mean, picked from their vine or their stem or the tree or whatever it may be. They're picked too early. They're transported thousands of miles, so they are not as nutritionally dense by the time they get to your plate. And that's why we need at least seven to 13 servings of fruits and vegetables per day. Um, one thing I wanna mention is that the reason why these nutrients aren't being retained in the fruits and vegetables when they're being picked too early is because, um, actually it's something that I'll mention in a couple of slides, but if you're a serious athlete as well, uh, you're gonna double that amount of minimum recommendations. You're gonna need at least 16 to 18 servings per day. And this is government recommended, it's not coming from me. So it's pretty amazing and I'm just extremely thankful that I learned about a simple way for more fruits and vegetables to be added in my diet in a, um, in a convenient way. Um, so this slide, I just wanna kinda talk about a personal experience. Um, four or five, actually five or six years ago now, most people who are pretty close to me know that I was involved in a car accident. And during this car accident, I actually had a burst fracture to my L3 vertebrae which basically means one of my uh, vertebrae on my spine on the lower half of my body kind of went like this and just burst it open, not fully breaking, but fracturing across the whole thing. And so I actually had to take my last semester off of school uh, and recover at home and basically recover for about six months. The reason I'm explaining this story to you guys is, um, you know, the doctors were telling me that within millimeters of a difference of where my bone fractured would have made the difference between whether I'd be walking for the rest of my life or not. Uh, so it's definitely a scary time, but I'm not telling the story to kind of um, give you any negative or uh, scary emotions. I'm telling you this because of what happened next. The doctors told me that once we found out that I would be walking because of the placement of my fracture, it told me that I probably would never be able to do the things that I was doing before. Never be able to play tennis like I had been playing for the re my whole life, or basketball, or any other sport for that matter. Uh, working out was pretty much out of the picture for at least the first year or two. Um, and then things like walking normally or walking without a brace that wrapped around my entire chest or back would come you know, six months, eight months down the line. Uh, well, while they were doing surgery on me, the doctors were actually realizing that my bones were so strong that I actually broke almost $3,500 worth of medical equipment while they were doing surgery on me. And they almost blamed me after the surgery as if I had something to do with it, which I guess I did because um, I was fueling my body with enough you know, good nutrients to give me good bone health, strong bones. And um, also, in terms of the good nutrients that I was fueling myself with, after my accident and after me leaving the hospital, going home and recovering, the time frames that they had told me of recovering were just way off, right? Um, they told me six months before I could walk normally again without a walker, and without my back brace. Uh, I let go of my walker within the first month, I think. And the back brace came off of me within the first two to three months. Uh, they told me I wouldn't be working out. I did that within four months. And so this really has a lot to do with how we're fueling our bodies and, and what it does for our, our bone health um, and our recovery time when it comes to accidents and, and injuries. And so um, just a quick story, personal experience of mine. But moving forward, where was I getting these nutrients? Where was I getting all this good nutrition? Um, you guys heard me talk about before. Juice Plus, okay? so. The one simple change, tying this back into the first slide that we spoke about in the beginning, was me taking Juice Plus. Um, taking Juice Plus makes me get more fruits and vegetables in my body every day. It's, it's a convenient way for me to add more than 30 raw, vine-ripened fruits and vegetables in capsules. And um, as I was mentioning before, I wanted to get to this slide before I spoke about it, vine ripening is so important because over half of the nutrients 
that develop in the last two to three days of the ripening process are happening again within the last two to three days. So if we're picking these fruits and vegetables because of mass production, like most fruits and vegetables that you're eating today, you're not getting it within, you're not getting it picked within the last two to three days. So over half of the nutrients that you would get out of your fruit or vegetable is not happening or occurring in your fruit or vegetable because it's not being picked at the peak vine ripened state. Juice Plus does that, right? They partner with local farms, family sized farms um, who focus on organic, non GMO food, and they do it in a vine ripening process that are very close to their processing facilities. Um, another thing that's really interesting is after the produce is picked, they're juiced and dried and put into capsules or chewables. Um, and they even inc include many of the peels, the leaves, and the seeds. And why, why do we want the, the peels, the leaves, and the seeds, you might ask? A great example is an orange, right? Did you guys know that up to 80% of the vitamin C, what we want out of an orange, is found in the peel and not in the actual fruit itself? And I know at least most of you are not like me eating the peel of an orange, but yet up to 80% of the vitamin C is found in the peel. Juice Plus takes the peel, it, it uh, juices it, it dries it, and it puts it in the capsule. So it's pretty amazing. And I don't know about you, um, but I'm definitely and not on a daily basis eating the rainbow of fruits and vegetables, the full spectrum. And this is a huge variety of fresh produce every day course it's not a substitute for the real thing uh, it simply helps us bridge the gap between what we should be eating and what we're actually eating on a day-to-day -day basis so beyond the um, the juice plus capsules that you can take or the chewables um, we also have the juice plus shake right everyone uh, almost everyone has tried or is looking to try a new protein shake that works for them, right? Um, for me, this is my choice. They have chocolate, vanilla, it's vegan, it's gluten-free, it's whole food protein, there's fiber, uh, a full profile of amino acids, and there's fruits and vegetables in this shake. Uh, you can use it for any meal uh, as an addition or a meal replacement. You can use it for post-workout recovery or just a snack in the afternoon. Um, this is macro nutrition, these shakes. Um, also, I should mention that they're non-dairy and low glycemic as well. Uh, but this is macro nutrition, which is a beautiful complement to the Juice Plus capsules, capsules, the micro nutrition, right? So before I even knew what those two words meant, um, someone helped me understand a basic way of understanding it, which is macronutrients are like the gas in your car and micronutrients are the oil, and you have to have both, right? Again, none of these are replacements for real food. They're just bridging the gap and supplementing what you really should be eating versus what you are eating. And you're getting everything you need from macro to micronutrition. Um, it has a full uh, amino acid profile, and for the people who are out there working out and trying to gain muscle, uh, I don't remember the three amino acids off the top of my head, but the three that are uh, utilized for building muscle are involved in this shake as well. So just for a quick example, you know, when I used to take whey protein, um, you know, it's something that for most guys, if they're working out, you're taking at least in the morning, you're usually having two, maybe even three shakes a day when you're trying to gain muscle. And I would have stomach issues. I would feel mentally foggy and um, drum roll please real quick. Juice Plus Complete Shakes are extremely clean and they're better, literally better. And I mean, not only does it taste better, but I mean, it's literally more effective. Uh, and one quick way to prove that to you is uh, most proteins are scored on a 1.0 scale. And there's not a lot of plant proteins out there that are uh, reaching the score of 1.0. Uh, Juice Plus Complete Shakes are reaching a 1.0 score. And I know that whey supporters and pro proponents uh, a lot of times say that, you know, you won't get all the amino acids that you need in your body from plants. And my response is, yes, you will. Um, 
just do your research first of all. Second of all, in this mix, it comes with a complete amino profile, uh, which can be seen on the back of the label because both the capsules and these shakes come with whole food uh, labels, ingredients, right? And not just vitamin uh, labels. There's a big difference there. So read the back, do your research and understand that this is probably one of the best protein shakes out there and it's plant-based. And so um, I think it's definitely worth, uh, you know, for you to look into at least. So this next slide is just a visual representation of all of the different fruits and vegetables involved in uh, the shakes and the capsules. When you add both Juice Plus shakes and the capsules, you're now getting nearly 50 different whole foods every single day. The nutrition, the nutrients from that. And you can go through all these different ones. I think there's uh, in the total list 46 or something like that. Uh, but it's amazing. And a lot of these things aren't being added into our diet on a daily basis. And it's just an easy way to do so. So um, moving forward, you know, I hear this a lot too. Hunter, despite everything I just mentioned in the past however many minutes this video has gone on for, um, why is Juice Plus unique? What makes it different from other products that I've taken or that I'm looking at right now. Thank you for asking. Um, there's three unique things about Juice Plus. And the first one is, again, not to be um, underemphasized here, it's food. It is not a vitamin. Juice Plus has a nutrition label, not a vitamin supplement label. It's the same label that you're gonna see on a bag of frozen broccoli in the grocery store. Um, because the government considers this food, right? Not synthetic materials that you're putting into your body. Second thing that makes it unique, um, the NSF certification. So NSF is a private company that certifies particular products in the world uh, to be sure that what you're reading on the label is actually what's in the product. And they stringently test for pesticides, mold, bacteria, stimulants, etc. And um, it's very expensive to have too, so it's really nice that the company that creates the Juice Plus product is very invested in making sure that they are the most thoroughly researched company and product in the world. Another thing that's uh, very interesting is Juice Plus is completely safe for all people of all ages, just like Whole Foods, Real Foods is. Um, whether you're pregnant or a nursing mother, whether you're a child or you're an elderly person, or even a professional athlete, which there are some Olympic teams that are sponsored by Juice Plus, by the way. Um, you can take Juice Plus and know that it's safe for your body. Also, uh, for those of you who, um, you know, this interests you, Juice Plus is also kosher certified. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about that, but for those of you that do, that's pretty cool. The third thing is that Juice Plus is actually, again, I know you heard me say it before, but let me say it one more time, that Juice Plus is the most thoroughly researched nutritional product in the world. It has 38 plus published studies in peer-reviewed medical journals with several more on the way in the near future. Um, again, guys, I'm not telling you a lie when I tell you this. Do your own research and you'll, and you'll find out for yourself. And I think that's the most exciting part for me is the research because uh, for me, if I'm gonna do something and implement it in my daily life, most of the time uh, I have a few questions to ask and uh, having that research readily available, you know, it's, it puts me at ease having gone through the research to know that this is legit and what I'm putting in my body is actually bringing me good health. Uh, so on this slide, you can kind of see the numerous medical journals and different top universities and doctors that have researched Juice Plus. Um, it's set apart by its research and what's great is that it's gold standard and that's not just uh, a saying. Gold standard research is top of the line research, okay? So it's research that's been done all over the world for over 20 years from well-known institutions and um, it's randomized, it's double blind, it's placebo controlled, tested on the product itself and tested in humans through clinical trials and peer-reviewed medical journals. Um, for those of you who know what 
gold standard and good research looks like, you know everything I just said makes this product extremely legit and something worth looking into. And so uh, I challenge you to actually pick up your iPhone and ask Siri, ask Siri herself, what is the most researched nutritional product in the world? And she's gonna show you at least a link referring you to Juice Plus. So pretty interesting as well. Uh, this next slide is uh, kind of talking about a few of the things that the research has found uh, within Juice Plus. Uh, Juice Plus is bioavailable. For those of you who don't understand what that means, basically it means that it has been proven that when you consume Juice Plus, it actually reaches your bloodstream and integrates into your blood cells, right? A lot of the vitamins that we're taking or feeding our kids today aren't even reaching our bloodstream. They're being excreted before they ever reach our blood, which is probably a good thing because of the, some of the you know, synthetic things that we don't need in our body. Uh, but the things that you think that you're getting, the vitamin C and D, whatever it may be, check to see if is it actually bioavailable. Does it actually reach your blood and do something for your body before it's excreted out? Uh, a few other things is that it contributes to cardiovascular wellness, supports immune health, uh, helps protect DNA, reduces oxidative stress like we talked about earlier, supports healthy skin, healthy gums, healthy inflammatory responses, uh, it supports quality of life in cancer survivors, and it improves metabolism in overweight children, supports lung health in smokers. An interesting study was that they were showing actually two groups one group who was uh, smoking their whole life, stopped smoking, started taking Juice Plus, seeing the effects on them, but the other group, um, smoking their whole lives and then continuing to smoke, but started taking Juice Plus as well. What's so interesting is, of course, the individuals who stopped smoking and started taking Juice Plus saw very great uh, health improvements, but the people who continue to smoke and continue to take Juice Plus also saw reversing effects in their lung health, which is pretty amazing. Uh, moving forward, one of the really cool things about the company is, um, again, they're about healthy living, and that involves all ages and all types of people. And so the Juice Plus company actually does um, a, a children's program where it allows children from ages four up into their last year of college their fourth year of college, I think, to receive Juice Plus for free as long as they have an adult who's also taken the product, right? That's unheard of. I don't see any other products doing something like that. Uh, the result is that these families are experiencing a true, you know, testament of Juice Plus and what it's doing for their bodies and their kids. And a few things that I want to read off of this slide here are that proven results, right? 60% of kids were missing fewer days of school after taking Juice Plus uh, for a certain amount of time. 50%, excuse me, 56% were taking fewer over-the-counter and or prescription drugs. Amazing. 71% were drinking more water. 66% were visiting the doctor less. We all know how much time consuming and, and, and how costly that can be. 71% were consuming less fast food and soft drinks. That means something's changing physically and mentally, right? There's a connection there. These kids are literally not desiring fast food and soft drinks as much once they get that good nutrition into their body. And lastly, of course, in direct relation with that, 61% were eating more fruits and vegetables. So just awesome results coming from the research that we just spoke about. Um, this next slide is kind of the uh, holy trinity, if you will. We spoke about you know, um, macro and micronutrition with the Juice Plus shakes and the capsules. Uh, and now I wanted to kind of show you guys the other product that Juice Plus company does where they're not only giving you uh, the proper nutrition through convenient ways of shakes and capsules, but they're also giving you an insanely uh, effective product to grow your own food right in your backyard. So. This product uh, called the Tower Garden was actually created um, by someone I can't remember the name of, but these Tower Gardens are aeroponic systems that grow vertically. And you can see these Tower Gardens um, at Disney 
world, right? And I think in Epcot Studios. Uh, you can see it at the Chicago O'Hare International Airport. You can see it in a lot of different really cool uh, upscale restaurants and rooftop bars and restaurants. Um, they're starting to get more and more popular, but it's because they work. And what I mean by that is they're using 98% less water than traditional growing means. They're using 90% less space, obviously being vertical, right? They're actually yielding more produce, 30% more produce than traditional farming needs. And they're also three times faster, right? You're not having to wait for so long. You can grow this at any time of the year and it's happening quicker. So um, if you're looking to kind of grow your own food and doing it in a convenient way, you don't have to be a farmer. You can kind of learn how to use this fairly quickly. It's very easy to use and uh, you can grow your own fruits and vegetables right in your backyard for your table. Talk about farm to table in a very easy and inexpensive way. And so I um, want to show you guys this picture. This is actually from, I don't have a tower garden yet, but as soon as I move into my own home, I'm definitely going to have at least one. Uh, but this is my, um, my mom's tower garden. As y'all may have seen in recent videos, looks great. There's zucchini, uh, some lettuces, some Swiss chard, bell peppers, tomatoes. Just looks amazing and so fresh. Um, lastly here, this is actually more of a recent product that Juice Plus put out. Um, and I really don't like to speak a whole lot more about Juice Plus other than the tower gardens and the, the capsules because I think that's just where most people should start if they're looking to integrate better health. Uh, but we all know that Omega has been extremely popular over the past five to ten years, right? Are you getting your Omega 3s uh, through fish oil capsules or whatever it may be? But guys, there's something better, right? First of all, if you are particular and you are a vegan, um, you can't have omega from fish because that kind of defeats the purpose. So Juice Plus created an omega blend that is all plant-based omega product. How is it all plant-based? So we cut out the middle fish and went straight to the algae. That's, by the way, where the fish are getting their omegas. They're eating this algae, and they're eating the omega when they eat the algae. And when you and I eat the fish, that's how we get our omega. Why? We know that the oceans are becoming more and more polluted. It's way harder to find good, fresh, non-polluted fish. So why even do that? Why, go straight, why not go straight to the source, get the algae, and get the omegas you need? And within this blend, it's really amazing because you're not only getting algae oil to get your omega-3s, but you're also getting some extremely well-known and um, super ancient holistic uh, sources of other vitamins as well, such as seed buckthorn berry, pomegranate seed oil, raspberry seed oil, safflower seed oil, and tomato seed oil. So again, you're not getting omega-3s from a fish capsule. You're getting omega-3, 5, six, seven, and nine, all from plant sources. And this is also blended in a kind of cold fusion technology way. Um, you guys have heard of cold press, you know, when it comes to these latest drinks and stuff. It basically means that the oils aren't exposed to too much heat, um, so they're retaining more of those nutrients when they're going through the process. So, very good products, amazing stuff if you're looking for an alternate to your Omega products. Um, this next slide is talking about how a lot of people like to join the Juice Plus journey. Um, they kind of don't like to just take a product and then be left alone. They like to be a part of something. And so there's a program called Shred 10 and, and Juice Plus. And if you are uh, taking Juice Plus already for years or just starting, you can join this program with a group of other people online. And um, it's kind of the most proven and simplest change you can make uh, for people who want to experience amazing benefits uh, with just taking Juice Plus. And if you're looking for a set of lifestyle guidelines uh, to supplement that, they have Shred 10. A lot of times, whenever we're talking about the word shred, most people are thinking about losing 10 pounds in 10 days. That's not what this program is about at all. It's about shredding certain habits for 10 days and adopting new and healthier habits to build on moving forward. And so as a participant, you get a community, community of people who are uh, doing this with you for 10 days. 
you receive a free guidebook, a free cookbook. So it's a really interesting way to kind of get started on Juice Plus if you're thinking about doing so. This next slide has always been one of my favorites. Um, simple as this, guys. For less than a gourmet cup of coffee from Starbucks, you can have Juice Plus and flood your body with 30 whole foods every day. And also through the kids programs, if you have uh, a niece or a nephew or your own child in your own household, uh, they will also receive the same amount of nutrition for free. So for less than a cup of coffee, you and your child can receive that. No other company, no other product is doing this. Uh, the Juice Plus Complete Shake is only about $2 per shake, which is extremely uh, convenient and inexpensive again. And the Omegas are about a dollar a day. So for me, when you talk about uh, you know the pricing, which you can see here, Juice Plus is really just a part of my grocery budget, right? Today it's priceless for me. I know that if I were to not be taking these products, I'm not gonna be getting the proper nutrition that I should, that my body deserves and needs. And so um, I fit it into my budget and I make it work. Lastly, guys, this is the last slide. Uh, we've been going on for a little bit here, but this last slide kind of shows um, directly related to the research what happens when you take Juice Plus capsules for just four months? Which, by the way, when you order Juice Plus, um, it comes in a four-month supply. So uh, whether you pay for that all up front or they allow you to kind of lease it monthly, uh, you're getting a supply of Juice Plus that you'll take daily for a whole four months. So this is what happens in your body when you take it. This is proven, right? Um, and I'm not going to read every single line here, but immediately you're going to reduce the immediate impact of what they call vasco construction of high fat meals. And you're moving that from 40 to 50% down to 16%. So just, if you're about to eat a high fat meal, not the good kind of fat, take Juice Plus and you'll get that immediate impact. Within seven days, you're increasing your key antioxidants. Within 14 days, you're reducing oxidative stress like we talked about. And the list goes on and on and for me, uh, I wanted to use this slide to tell you all about my personal experience, what I felt when I was taking Juice Plus for four months, six months, and 12 months. Um, often, actually kind of like the uh, proven results coming from the kids program, you know, I noticed that I was craving eating healthier all the time. I would see fruits and vegetables and literally think that I wanted to eat them more. That's that DNA changing in your body. That's that... Um, minds to body connection whenever you're fueling your body perfectly your mind starts to catch up and say oh, okay we do need this I want more of this give me that I was also drinking more water um, it's kind of funny I started to notice my mouth being more and more dry which gave my mind the signal that I needed more water and it just happened really naturally I started drinking more water and now today I shoot at least for uh, a whole gallon of water per day uh, at the minimum and it really does make a lot of difference in your day-to-day -day life. If you don't drink at least half of your body weight in ounces of water per day, I suggest you at least try it for like 10, 12 days and see what difference it does make in like your mental clarity and everything else. Also, I was going to the doctor a lot less. I was getting less colds. I mean, most of us when we were kids, you're probably getting a cold uh, four times a year. For me, it grew into twice or once a year at max. Um, I used to have kind of, you know, semi-consistent headaches just for no reason, probably lack of water, lack of nutrition. I was receiving less and less headaches daily. Um, and I was also having deeper sleep, you know. I just noticed that uh, even if I only slept for six hours before I was taking Juice Plus and after, I felt more, uh, you know, mentally charged and I felt more healing in my body the next day through taking Juice Plus. And the last thing, uh, as I talk about in my personal experience, I was healing faster. And that's not just for major accidents like that, just minor uh, you know, scrapes and, and cuts. I was literally healing three to four days faster than normally. And I noticed these things even when I was you know, 15, 16, 17 years old. So really amazing stuff, guys. Uh, we talked about a lot. I know this has been a long video. It looks like we're creeping up on 45 minutes. So if you braved through and, and reached the very end of this video, first of all, thank you very, very much. Uh, I know that uh, you could have better things to do, and I'm definitely not the most important person in your life. So thanks for taking the time. 
If you have any questions at all, just reach out to me. Um, I'm not the expert here, but what's super awesome about Juice Plus is that there's extremely well-known doctors who support and promote this product. Pediatricians, RNs, doctors, scientists, um, Olympians, uh, athletes, professional athletes, all these people who take experience Juice Plus and they talk about it and do research on it. And so I can point you in the right direction if I don't have the answer for you already. Um, but other than that, I hope you all enjoyed it. I'll definitely be following up with a little bit of uh, shorter clips taken from this longer length video. So be on the lookout for those and share them with anybody who you think you'd want to share it with. And um, that's really it for today. Hope you all are doing well and see you again next time. <laughs>